In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus AlNO33. This is barium hydroxide plus aluminum nitrate. So the first thing we need to do is write the balanced molecular equation. When I look at this, I have this odd number here. I have, for instance, two hydroxides here and three over here. So that makes it a little difficult. I think I'll put a two in front of the aluminum hydroxide to make this an even number. Then if I put a three over here, I've got three times two, six hydroxides, two times the three, six hydroxides. That works. Uh, I've got two aluminums though. I'll put a two here. Those are balanced. Now I have two times three, six nitrates. I guess I could put a three here, three times the two, that's six nitrates, three bariums and three bariums. This is balanced. This one's a bit of work. Next, we write the state for each substance. So if we look at barium hydroxide, this is considered a strong base. It's going to be aqueous, dissociate into its ions. Nitrates are very soluble, right? AQ, same for barium nitrate, very soluble. But hydroxides in general are insoluble. So this is going to be a solid. When we have these two substances react, it produces the solid, which falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. This might be a little bit soluble. Some of it dissolved, but not very much. So we consider it solid, insoluble net ionic equations. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into ions for the complete ionic equation. Barium group two on the periodic table, that'll be two plus, and the whole hydroxide is one minus. So we have three barium ions, and then we have three times two, so six hydroxide ions. We have aluminum group 13, sometimes called 3A, that's three plus the whole nitrate one minus. So we have two aluminum ions, that's at Al3 plus, and then we have two times three, six nitrate ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said two plus, and then the one minus, so three barium ions. And that's just like in the reactants. We have three times two nitrates, six nitrate ions, again, like the reactants. And then that aluminum hydroxide, that's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we'll just keep that together there as aluminum hydroxide. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. I see I have three barium ions here in the reactants, three in the products right here. Those are spectator ions. We can cross those out. I have six nitrate ions here and in the products, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus aluminum nitrate. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium hydroxide and aluminum nitrate. We have six, two, two as our coefficients. We can reduce that by dividing everything by two. That would give us three, one, one. And we don't write the one. You'll also see the positive put first followed by the negative. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer. And that's the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus AlNO33. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.